Welcome back to the Dynasty Nerds YouTube channel. I am Marvin Eloquin, and today I get to talk to you guys about a tight end who's on the cusp of elite tight end production, and that's Baltimore Ravens tight end Mark Andrews, who just signed his four-year extension just a few days ago, or it was announced a few days ago. So we'll touch on that here in a little bit, give you guys a preview on what to expect from him this season and how that will affect his Dynasty value going forward. All right, so to start things off, let's take a quick look at that contract extension that was just announced for Mark Andrews. So he'll be signing a four-year, $56 million extension with the Baltimore Ravens. $38 million of that is in guaranteed money. That's a $14 million annual value, which makes him essentially the third highest paid tight end in the league behind only George Kittle and Travis Kelsey. And that locks him in as the focal point of that Ravens offense up until 2025. Now, with, like with any contract, there is an out for the Ravens later in his career. In 2025, it looks like they could save around $11 million if they decide to let him go. But I just don't believe that will happen considering his production so far and the trajectory that he's on right now. If he continues to improve, I expect him to sign another extension at age 29. And that's really key for his dynasty value because if he can uh, lock himself into this Ravens offense for the next five six seven eight years he would be linked to lamar jackson through his prime and that's exactly what we want to see from a young improving potentially elite tight end in the league so when we take a look at Mark Andrews and his production profile over the last two years, it should not really surprise anyone that he's been extended by this team because of how dominant he's been for them over the last two seasons. He leads all Ravens receivers in several metrics such as target share, receiving yards per game, receiver air conversion ratio. He's also second in area share at 28%, only two percentage points behind Marquise Brown, who we view as the deep threat for this offense. And that just shows you that Mark Andrews, he's used all over the field for this team and he he is the true lead receiver for the Baltimore Ravens. And so when you compare him to some of the other elite tight ends, you'll notice that the volume isn't quite there because of the offense that he's in, right? The Ravens aren't as pass happy as the, as the Raiders or the Chiefs. But he's been the tight end four in target share at 24%, but he's more efficient than some of these tight ends, averaging the second most routes per target at 3.3. He's tied for tight end two in yards per route run at 2.6 over the last two years, and tight end one as well in air yards per route run at 3.2. And this shows us that Andrews, he's the perfect combo of volume and efficiency. So he makes up for that lack of volume, that high-end volume, with the efficient play that he provides every single game. And that's why he's been the tight end for in PPR per game with 13.1. So while he might not give you those, those high target numbers that you might see from a Waller or a Kelsey, he still can give you that advantage, that uh, three to four, five point advantage every single week that can help you win matchups in your dynasty lineups. And what makes Andrew such an intriguing dynasty tight end is the potential for more in this offense. He once again has the opportunity to lead the Ravens in targets, be the top target for Lamar Jackson in 2021. And while I love Rashad Bateman and what he can bring to this offense, I think his presence actually affects Marquise Brown and his upside more than it does Mark Andrews. And so when we take a look at the trajectory, the career arc of a dynasty tight end, you've actually seen the most productive years for a tight end over the last 21 seasons occur between the ages of 25 to 28. And that's exactly where Mark Andrews is right now. 49.6% of all top 12 fantasy tight end seasons fall within the ages of 25 to 28. And when we talk about those elite uh, tight end producers, right, the top three tight ends every single year, most tight ends enter that tier at age 26, and 58.7% of those top three tight end seasons fall within the ages of 25 to 28. And that's exactly where Mark Andrews is right now. He's entering his age 26 season. He's in the prime of his career. So when you're looking at a tight end who could enter that next year, I believe Mark Andrews is set to, to join that group as soon as this season. So for Andrews to enter that next tier of tight end production, volume will be key. We know he'll dominate the opportunity share metrics, but the fact is Baltimore is a lower passing volume offense. That's exactly why he's only been the tight end eight with 6.4 targets per game over the last two seasons. He's mainly produced with his efficiency. So for him to take the next step, this offense as a whole needs to improve. 
And so when we take a look at Greg Roman and his tenure as an offensive coordinator, everyone focuses on, on the Ravens' league lowest 42% passing rate in 2020, but they also only had 961 total plays. That's the lowest in Roman's tenure as an offensive coordinator since 2013. And when you take a look at the additions that they made to their offense, right, they added Sammy Watkins, Rashad Bateman, Tylan Wallace, all signs point to them wanting to pass the ball more frequently than they have in years past. And what people might actually forget is back in 2014 to 2016, when Roman was the OC for the 49ers and the Bills, he had Tyra Taylor as, and Colin Kaepernick as his quarterbacks. He actually averaged a 49% passing rate, which is significantly higher than the Ravens passing rate last year. They averaged about 475 passing attempts per season in that time span, which would be 70 more pass attempts than the Ravens had last year. All that to say, we don't really know what this Ravens offense will look like. All signs point to them wanting to pass the ball a little more than they have over the last two years. And we've seen Greg Roman pass it more with other rushing quarterbacks. So why couldn't he do it with Lamar Jackson this year after all the additions that they've made? And so if this offense as a whole improves in volume, Mark Andrews, who is the focal point of this passing attack, will be the direct beneficiary. And that could essentially bridge the gap that separates him from becoming an elite dynasty tight end one in your lineups. So to close things out, I think there's a lot to like about Mark Andrews and his potential in this offense, especially if they try to pass the ball a little more this, this season. But let me know in the comment section below if you agree or if you think there's another tight end who could enter this elite tier of Waller, Kelsey, and Kittle. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our website. We'll be coming out with weekly content to help you guys navigate your dynasty season in 2021.